Welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this design right here. This is for Black History Month, which is the beginning of it, which, well, it's all of February, so it starts in about a month at the beginning of February. Every year there is a theme, so this goes into the theme and, um, kind of how you can find the right fonts and all of that. So if this is something that you are interested in learning about, please do stick around. Okay, so here we are on Canva's homepage. I am going to be creating a t-shirt design today. So we're gonna hit custom size and I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Now I will be optimizing my design for the darker color shirts. And with that in mind, I like to pick black as my background color to work on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by selecting black. Now this is going to be a design for Black History Month, which is in February every year and is always very popular. Like other um, yearly um, events or holidays, it has a theme. And so some people aren't aware of that, but you can always look up the theme. And this year the theme is African Americans and the arts. So you can include that in your design if you wanted to stand out beyond just being the general Black History Month design. So it's always good if you can make it more specific. Um, I'm gonna make it you know, more specific to that and include the year for this design. So with that in mind, we're gonna go up to elements and I wanna get a little bit of a background. So there's different things I can start with. So if I went with just Black History Month and saw what came up, that can give you some good ideas. Um, you can also go with like African heritage, all sorts of different things. You'll notice if you haven't done you know, a lot of research on this prior, the main colors are going to be your red, yellow, and green. And so you'll see that throughout. I do like this sort of jaggedy background here. So that I like, and I'm thinking I wanna use something very similar to that. If not that one, I wanna find one that's close to that because I do like that sort of flag look to be my backdrop for this design. So I'll scroll through and see if there's any that I like better and sort of pick the one that I think looks the best and go from there. We're gonna kind of do a little bit of a layered design with some, you know, some text on there too. So there's that again. And of course, one thing you could always do, by the way, if you had a background shape that you liked, would be to use a clipping mask. So for example, if I had a background shape that I liked or I wanted to create my own sort of splatter background and then just use a clipping mask that had these colors, that is always an option as well. So all sorts of different ways that you can go about getting sort of the background that you want. I'm gonna go back up to the top because I think one of the ones I saw at the beginning was probably the best. So maybe something like that one, that's gonna bring up some magic recommendations so I can hit see all and see if there's anything else on here. This gives it sort of that cool tribally look, but it definitely, you know, kind of gives it an artsy feel as well. Lots of tribal borders that you can use, flags. So sometimes you hit the magic recommendations, they'll have something good. Right now, this one might be my best bet. Here's another one here. This one did not come up with any magic recommendations. So I might just stick with this one here for now. Cause I know I want something similar to this, but maybe something that's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. I don't really like that transparency there, but that's the gist of what I'm looking for. Ooh, this one, maybe this one. Let me turn this. That one might be the best for what I want. It's gonna fill the page. It's gonna give me a little bit of jagged edges and I can bring that pretty much end to end. So let's say I wanted to go with that. That's sort of my main background there. And then I want sort of a circular design. I like these colors. So one thing I could also do would put African-American and to see what I can come up with there. You're gonna find some good silhouettes of women. Again, you're gonna get some of those colors in there that you like. Um, I can put African heritage, maybe if I just do African heritage. 
So sometimes you just start playing with some of your searches. I have an idea of what I'm looking for. So for me, it's just about sort of finding it. Sometimes if you don't know what you're looking for, just doing these searches and looking through the designs can give you some ideas of things that you might want to incorporate. And so as I'm scrolling down, by the way, I'm finding some silhouettes of, of women that I might want to use. So something like that I really like, and I can go ahead and flip that horizontal. And that kind of is what I want to make more like the center piece, but I did want to put sort of a circle around it again using these colors. And I'd seen it before, but sometimes when you find something, it's not always easy to find it again. It would be saved in my recently used, but it was recently used about two years ago. So uh, it would be hard for me to scroll all the way down to find it again. So sometimes it just takes a little bit of searching or we might just have to, you know, make some, you know, alterations. Again, I can go back to here. I can do something like this. I was kind of just hoping to get sort of a grungy kind of look. I mean, I can do different sort of waving lines through here if I really wanted to just get some just sort of artsy looks in there. So I got different ways that I could work with this. And troll back. And so something, you know, a little grungy mask there. Not quite what I was going for, but uh, you'll get the idea enough that you can then create your own however you like. So I'm just going with sort of that artsy look. But let's go ahead and add some text and then if I find what I'm looking for, I'll add it in. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. That's gonna pull up my text box. Now normally I hate that my text is in black, but in this case, I actually do want it to be black, but I'm going to, um, I'm gonna make some alterations. I'm gonna put an outline around it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just, it's gonna say African Americans because that is going to be the title this year. Um, and then, and the arts, and control D, and this is going to say, and the arts. And so that is what I'm gonna have up top. Now I am gonna go ahead and go to effects, and I'm gonna be doing an outline around that. So I'm gonna have a black on the inside, but the outline here is gonna be sort of that yellow color. And on this one, the outline I was going to be doing, again, was gonna be more of that red color. Let's see if I can get that bright red color, okay. So it was gonna look something a little bit more like that, but with a nice um, bold um, font that was gonna stand out a little bit more. So let me bring that down a little bit, something there. So the font that I wanted to use is really a big part of the design as well. And the font that looks really well for these styles of design. So you might've seen something similar to this before, but it is one called Harrison. And now they make a rough version and a smooth version. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the rough. And I'm gonna go ahead and change that one too to that Harrison rough. And so now you can kind of see the way that that looks. It's a nice narrow font, which means that when I might pull it out, it'll be nice and big for me to read. And so what I can do now, this is all in lowercase. So I can now start playing with some of the capitals. So the difference between some of these is some of the capitals won't have a line, some of the lower cases will. So I can play with capitals and lower cases to see what kind of looks good here. And so some of these are uppercase, some of these are lowercase, but they're just giving me sort of those different lines. And I can do the same thing here, oops. Make that an A and the, let's make the H capital. Arts, let's make the A capital. Yeah, let's go ahead and make the S capital. There we go. Arts and the arts. Cool. So I got African Americans and the arts. And so I like the way that that kind of looks and it pops nice. I can always, again, at this point, play with the thickness. So I can make it pop a little bit more by putting a nice thick border around it if I wanted to. So a thin border, you're not gonna see it as much. And so I can play with that a little bit there too. Playing with that a little bit as well. 
And then down here, I was also going to put just Black History Month and I was gonna put 2024. So let's go ahead and pull up a text box again. This time I'm gonna put Black History and then Month 2024. Now I didn't necessarily, oops, need it to be the same font, but I did still wanna get that outline around it because that's gonna help me see it a lot better. So I was still gonna go ahead and go with that yellow outline because that's gonna help it stand out. And then what I'm thinking for this is just another grunge texture. So you can always search for grunge for the fonts and all sorts of different grunge fonts that you can look through. I think the one that I was going to pick for this one was, where is that hair? This one right here. And I was gonna go ahead, stretch that out, shrink it down a little bit. Okay, so it's something a little bit more like this, right? I want these lines to be a little bit closer together too, so I can go up here to spacing and I can bring that line spacing a little bit closer. So I got it something like that. I could also go ahead at this point, effects, I could play with the thickness of the yellow as well, see if I can make that maybe pop a little bit more so it looks something a little bit more like that. I could also, you know, completely change this. So what I could do is alternate these colors. So instead of black text with yellow outline, I could do the yellow text and try the black outline and see if that makes it pop anymore. So African Americans in the arts, Black History Month 2024. So that looks pretty cool. And so a simple design, it wasn't exactly what I was going for because I still didn't find the exact background and circle that I had used before, but I still do like the way that this looks. It is themed specifically for this year and includes, you know, the year on it. So it's a little bit different than just the generalized, um, you know, black heritage shirts or black pride shirts. So this one is very specific for Black History Month and for this year. But you can see how you can just sort of look through some of these elements, see if you can find things that you like. Um, there's all sorts of, of Black History Month shirts out there. So again, you do want yours to stand out. You do want yours to be different than everybody else's. If you're just reproducing the exact same design, then what you know motive do people have to buy yours over somebody else's? So you always have to think about that with all of your designs is why should somebody pick yours over somebody else's? You either need yours to be dramatically better than theirs or you need yours to be very original and different. Um, and so one way to do that is, you know, for any event that's coming up, just make sure that you know the theme and that you're very specific with it. You can also do some more generalized shirts as well. So it's always good to have a nice variety. But that's what I kind of wanted to show you for this design. I'm gonna go ahead and title it up here and I'm just gonna title it Black History Month. And what we will do then is go ahead and hit share. I'm going to download this. It's gonna be a transparent background and I will hit download and then this will be ready to go and you can put it on anything you want. You could also make this into a flag. You could make it into a poster. You could make it into a sticker. So lots of different ways you could go with this other than just a t-shirt. So keep that in mind as well. Start thinking about some of the other products that you could you know, use, especially for Black History Month, I think posters and flags might do pretty well. It's something you could put out for the entire month um, versus other holidays that might just be like a day. So anyways, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your first quarter. I know it's early on, but I hope you're getting a lot of your designs up and ready already. Remember, you probably wanna get everything up at least a month and a half. And so at Black History Month starting in February, you really wanna have all of your stuff up right at the beginning of January, really. So get on it. And I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.